Kyle Kingsbury. Dude, thank you so much for doing this. Absolutely, brother. It is My number pleasure. one, great to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. But I value what you do. I'm so interested in your perspective on things. So let's hop right into it. I had a strength coach actually, you know, from, from New York. And he goes, he goes, uh, you fought a lot. And I was like, who says that to another man? You know, like <laughs> it's fucking protein shakes, leave it alone, dude. And he's like, no, 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 you've got some kind of intolerance. And I was like, huh. So he asked me if I read a book. And at that point, I was like, no, I'm, I'm done with college. I'm not reading another damn book. I'm right. fighting now, you know? And, and he goes, all right, will you watch a VHS video? And I was like, sure. Ah. So he put on Flatten Your Abs Forever video from Paul Check, ah. which is a total rope, you know, like a hook, line and sinker. I get sucked in thinking I'm gonna have a six pack. It's right. all on gut health and food intolerances. Ah. And from there, I was so blown away by the content that I read how to eat, move and be healthy. I filled out all the questionnaires. And you know, that was the first of maybe a dozen times, you know, when I met my wife, we went right back through it and kept doing that because your body changes over time. Some things people really don't realize that, you know, what your body needs changes and where my intolerances are might change as well. And through that, it was like, holy shit, this is affecting how I think, how I feel, my emotional state, how I respond to my wife. All of these things are impacted by what I'm putting in my body. And Paul really planted the seed for me you know, from that one book, like if I could gain all of this from one damn book, like that opened up my entire world. There's a lot of <laughs> not good information out there. You know, there's a lot of, um, you know, quick bullet fixes, one size fits all approaches to diet and nutrition. And that's not really the case. You know, it, it does become um, a path of self-discovery. What is right for me? Mm. And, and really that, that continues to be a refinement that I'm, I'm still going with to this day. Mm -hmm. But with that, you know, guys like Paul Check do exist. You know, and, right. and they're, they're, they're in a league of their own when it comes to health and wellness and have been for many years. They have been from a physical health standpoint to a mental emotional health standpoint to a spiritual standpoint. And he stands out to me. Momentum is the biggest thing. It's what keeps you, you know, getting back on the wagon or getting back off the wagon, whatever the case right. is gonna be. It is momentum that brings you back. Some movement forward. It, it can be infinitesimally small, but yeah. something pushes so, you forward. So how do we get momentum? Consistency, right? It's the same thing. You learn it in jujitsu, you learn it in any of these practices. Consistency is the thing that brings you back. Mm -hmm. And the more consistent you are, that allows for 80-20. It's not, I mean, I eat deep dish pizza every time my bear has a birthday, my little son bear. <laughs> like it's his birthday, he wants deep dish. I'm in, buddy, I'm in. I'll take some extra enzymes and deal with it later. Yeah. Um, so I'm not a saint when it comes to that, but 80-20, yeah. probably closer to 90-10, 90% of the time, we're making our own food and it's coming from the best regenerative biodynamic sources possible. It's coming from farmer's markets, it's coming from local guys. A lot of people think that might be a pain in the ass, but, or it's more expensive or all these things, but what you're paying for is your health. What you're paying right. for is your ability to think and live freely and move your right. body in ways that are previously not gonna work. They're not gonna vibe if I'm not putting the right fuel in my tank. In the last two and a half years, I really fell into a, a deep depression and had to grieve a lot of what I saw in the world and reframe you know, my picture of what, what the reality is that we're living in. But with that, as you move from the victim archetype into one that's empowered, you say, well, you know, it's the serenity prayer. What's right in front of me that I can control? Well, I have, I have control over this vessel. I can control what goes into my body. Uh, I have control over what's, what's, what my kids are consuming right. from a media standpoint to right. a food standpoint to an education standpoint. Right. And if it's within my reach, then I, then it's my responsibility, you know, and right. by taking that responsibility and using it to empower myself and empower others, 